Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Learn Natural. In today's video, let's discuss about a little issue related to XPSJs. So, whoever are trying to explore XPSJs for the first time, they might come across this issue wherein uh, they'll face issues related to request body wherein they're not able to read it. Even I faced it. Uh, so, I thought I'll just quickly make a video on that and show you all how to solve that issue. So, if you see here, I have, um, you know, written a little code wherein i'm uh, reading the post request body over here request dot body so let me show that here so let me stop this and start it again and go to postman so if i send this request to 8080 the path i've given is the root path so i don't have to provide any path over here click on send so I'm getting the back the response. I'm also trying to read the request body. I'm getting it has undefined. So how to solve this? Uh, to solve this, we need to use uh, a library called body parser, something like this. Const need to import this. So body parser and also you need to install this dependency in your uh, project so just cancel this and install npmi body parser so this will get imported and in it will get uh, downloaded to your node modules now after this what you have to do is uh, we need to use your app you know we need to make sure that uh, the body parser is being used uh, in our app so something like this body parser which we have uh, initialized above and convert everything to json so if i do this and now if i try to start the server again and if i load this so i'm able to if i click on send Oh, sorry, I've, I don't know how this came out. So let me stop this again and start it again. Click on send. So you're able to read the um, JSON. And if you want to read the specific uh, object, then you can just give name. And now if I click on send, you can see I need to stop it again. And you can see that name coming up directly. So the name will come up directly. And if you want, you can send this back as a response to see the changes instantly. So if I stop this and start it again and click on send, so you're able to see that coming back. So that is how you solve this issue. You need to import this body parser and uh, pass everything to json if you are expecting a json request so yeah that's all guys hope this was useful let me know in the comments and also do hit the like button subscribe comment share with your friends let's catch you in next video until then see you bye